We gotta talk about it. One of the best fights in Naruto. Ever since we first got introduced to Sasuke, he's been praying for this day. Bro had me thinking he was about to new the academy when he was introducing himself to Kakashi. You just knew bro was on bad timing. He said his only goal in life was to kill his own brother. And my first time watching this, I'm just like, dang, what did he do? I mean, it could have been that bad, right? But before we get into the real boxing, I gotta talk about when Itachi humbled this man Sasuke at that hotel. And can I just mention how nice of a guy Itachi is? My man pulled up to Naruto to get the nine tails and bro politely knocked on the door like a gentleman. I know his parents are proud of him bro, they definitely raised him right. But anyway, eventually Sasuke pull up and catch Itachi talking to Naruto and they hit this 1800s cowboy stare like they finna have a duel or something just staring at each other. And Sasuke was no time, he pulls out the Tadori immediately and started tearing up the wall for no reason. And I'm watching like, bro why are you Tadori in the wall? Save that extra chakra for Itachi bro, he's right there. But to be honest, we all know that jump was not gonna work anyway. And then we just see this wall is and I'm like, dang, bro might have already did it. I guess now he finna be out of the story like a rapper. Ironic. But sight, they show us that Itachi caught that weak shit and just deflated it into the wall. And can we just admire these perfect looking circles my king created? Then when they pan back, we just see Itachi he and Sasuke with one of the blanket stairs ever. He definitely thinking, dang, can't believe I spared this garbage. Should have been Shisui. And then folds his man like a lawn chair. And Sasuke let out a scream like he woke up and saw that he missed the you book text. Brother, like he ain't got nothing in months. But then when he come back to his senses, he tried to hit Itachi with a mean right hook. And Itachi turned into Riley and Roundhouse kicked this man Sasuke into the wall at the end of the hallway. And just look at bro. He was in the air like this for about 5 to 10 seconds. And man still ain't had enough. He charged right nope. back at him and catched a knee straight to the jaw. Yeah. And look at this man. He cannot fathom the beating he is getting right now. But I gotta go back. Just look how slow Itachi lift his knee up and he's still not blood out of Sasuke man. Like me personally, I'm weaving that easily. Let alone you give me a shot guy. Man, I'm cooking Itachi if you try that on me. But then man just yeet Sasuke off him and look how bro is twirling through the air. Like bro, if you don't stop trying to be a ninja and go be a ballerina, bro like he trying to be handsome Squidward or something. But bro do got that mama mentality, he's still not done. So after he catches another knee to the gut, you just hear the sad music start playing. But then they put everything in slow motion. Nah, bro really got put into the edit by his own animators. That's tough. Then they show Sasuke just chilling in the air like he finna ascend and go see the rest of the clan. But Itachi like, nah bro, I show him to you right here and punch this man in his stomach again. I just know his stomach going through it bro, like he just ate some leftover Taco Bell or something. Then Sasuke just plop on the ground and bro didn't just fall, he bounced. But now Itachi not done, he choking this man against the wall. And then put Sasuke into the Tsukiyomi and bro, they say he had to watch his parents die over 500,000 times. Like Itachi, you could've just did like 100 or something. 500,000 is actually wicked. Had bro in a coma for weeks. But now that we've seen Sasuke get cooked as a kid, we can get into the real fight. And it start with Itachi sitting in his throne. And I'm sorry, but you can't tell me Kishimoto don't be doing this junk on purpose. First it was this. Now they got him sitting in his throne like he ain't got no worries in the world. I'm just saying. But then they get to talking and we can see the energy already different from that first fight. Somebody joined the Toby Rama today. Then we see Itachi pull up to Sasuke mad quick. All you can see was a win. And they clash weapons. And they hit us with this cold frame. And all of this showed me was that Sasuke was finna struggle. Then Itachi just kick up off Sasuke's sword and turn into Rey Mysterio. Then palm the mess out of Sasuke's sword just to flip over him. And then bro just started spazzing, swinging this man all over the place like a dog. And then just spike this man into the floor like he just got a touchdown or something. So Sasuke like, oh nah, he started playing in the head. He throw a sword into the roof and pull out his Tadori. And I swear, every time Sasuke get hit at the beginning of the fight, he pull out Tadori like it's go save him every time. But this time he used Tadori stream. And then this dude Itachi fall for it and jump straight up. And guess who's sitting on the roof just waiting? Itachi got a mean sword right through his spleen. Now they on the ground and Sasuke was talking like he won already. And after I wipe the tears from my eyes, I see this man Itachi break his wrist and start pointing to the side. And I'm like, huh? And then we see this man is still in a chair. And I'm like, oh nah, bro put me in the Genjutsu too. And then they show this nasty scene of crows flying out this clone eyes and mouth. Like y'all could have just made him turn into clothes completely. I did not need to see all of that. But then the camera starts zooming in at Sasuke eye and I'm like, as I see Sasuke put his sword through this man's thing again, but this time he punished him from the back. And I'm like, I know I'm not tripping. Bro definitely did not have his Sharingan on. And Itachi probably thinking the same thing. Just look at him. In pure shock. And Sasuke started getting cocky, so he get to ask us some questions. And Itachi just happened to mention the name of the king of black forces himself, Madara. And got Sasuke back there shaking in his boots. Bro was petrified. Then he randomly shoot at Chidori sent by to a wall behind him. And I'm just like, hey yo bro what you aiming at? Ain't nobody back there. And then all of a sudden you see Itachi right beside where the Chidori hit. And now we get another steering contest. Then they start getting ready for the fade for real and I'm getting hyped. I said to put my chair like I'm about to lose in the fourth quarter. And they both pull out Shuriken and just start spamming. And I'm like, hold up. 
Yeah. What was Itachi keeping those? Ain't no way them Gakashi cloaks got pockets on the inside, right? But then Sasuke pull out his trusty big shirt, and we all know Sasuke do not leave the crib without that thing on him. So we throw it and cut through Itachi's phone, and bro is pissed. He pull up to Sasuke for another staring contest, and just look at the fear in Sasuke's face. Bro is not ready. Then Itachi hit him with a kick right in his gut again, and sent this man flying back. And I know I'm not the only one getting flashbacks watching this. Itachi had him hitting his same pose as when he got kicked early. Then Itachi pressed him again and hit him with another gut punch. And I'm looking at Sasuke like, bro, you should have been prepared for this. This man hit you with the same combo as last time. Like, if you're not going to use your shine guy, man, give it to me. But now Itachi decided to try and yank this man eye out, trying to copy Maru. And before he can get to the other one, Sasuke pulled out this nasty ass ring. And I'm sorry, but Kishimoto was not cooking when he designed this. Bro was definitely on something. So then Itachi pulled out this random ass jar from his sleeve. Now I'm pissed because like, for real bro, where's all this stuff coming from? Then you see an arm pop up behind Sasuke and it's another clone. And he just put this man in the headlock. And before Itachi can take the other eye again, the screen starts tweaking. And at first I thought my jump was glitching. Had my jump look like a crazy Rubik's cube or something. And then we see Itachi fall to his knees. Then we find out Sasuke broke out the Tsukiyomi. Then eventually, Sasuke pull out two more big shirkies, but these got the trusty wires on them. And if we being honest, when he broke out the wires on, he does not miss. It is a cheat code. Then we see Itachi make this face, and I'm like, oh yeah, bro finna turn up for real. But nope, bro just couldn't see. He wanna be Madara so bad. So they end up busting through the roof, and they both use the same fireball jutsu at the same time. And not gonna lie, Sasuke was definitely starting to win. But I'ma say it was cause the A's. So Itachi got no choice but to pull out the Amaterasu. And look at this clown Sasuke. Bro look like he trying to blow it out like a birthday candle. Like if you don't move out the way, but by then it's too late, this man is cooked. Literally. We just see this man laying on the ground, roasting. Then bro just melt, and I'm like, oh nah. Bro really went and got a hickey from Orochimaru just to still get packed up. But turns out bro was just giving birth to himself and just slipped back into the building. And that man Itachi still in the room, just up there dying. Somebody go get bro his inhaler, please. But Sasuke had no mercy. Man shot a fire dragon and burned up my man's drip. That's a real Akashi cloak right there. Unlike whatever this dude had on. But so now both these dudes getting cooked. They can't even stand up. But then it starts lightning crazy. And then, oh nah. This man Sasuke turned into Thor and breathed out Kirin. And Itachi for real is scared for his life. And I'm not gonna lie, I would be too. Cause this junk just blow up the whole dude. Had Zetsu over there fighting for his life and bro was just trying to spectate. And then we see Sasuke is cooked. Both of them need to keep his on. Man, Shaka Bar is on E. And I'm just like, okay, Itachi gotta be dead for real this time. Sasuke might have finally got a real win without all that extra plot on him. But bro did not want to go see the third Hokage yet. This man started getting up like... No way you thought that we did her. And Sasuke is bamboozled. I ain't never seen bro's eyes this big. Like he just walked in on Naruto and Sakura. Then both start pulling out the Susano and I'm like, oh nah, Itachi got the Kairi bag for real. The whole time Sasuke just in the back shivering his boots in his ugly curse mark 2 form. And the bro Susano evolves again to like the armor Susano. And I know Sasuke was over there stressing. Then he starts tweaking again flashbacks of Orochimaru biting on his neck. And then bro's shoulder just explodes and these big ass snakes come out. But we gotta go back and just look at the pain this man Sasuke is in. I wonder what this look like with no music. Oh. Anyway, we end up getting a Power Ranger boss fight and the Rochimaru Snake Hydra start charging at Itachi. So he just pull out the Tosca Blade and decapitate this bum at the Nate. And more of them decide to charge like, bro, did you not learn from the first one? And they all just get blocked by the Yadamir and then bro slice off five of their heads in one attack. I'm just like, this man Itachi is OP. No wonder Kishimoto had to give him AIDS. Then you just see a body coming out of this snake mouth. Oh and bro, God, where is that? your clothes? And I don't want to hear no excuses. Because I see a Rochimaru do this junk all the time where he will spit himself out of his own mouth. And he got a full thing of clothes on. So ain't no excuses. Man's got his bare cheeks all in the back of his snake throat. What? Then this man and Rochimaru turn into Tiana Trump and start throwing his sword up. Just to end up getting one shot with the Tosca blade. And bro adding cocky think he just finna regenerate again. Just look at the confidence on this man's face. But no boy, have fun down there with Jiraiya buddy, you're cooked. As he just melts away. And then the whole snake gets sealed. And then the A's kick back in. And Itachi start bugging out. They did go wrong with this animation. And it's still going cause man's just casually looking like he having a heart attack mid sentence. Like did somebody summon like Yagami over here too? So now the Susanoo start going away and Sasuke like, oh boy, here's my chance. And throw a kunai with a paper bomb on me. Like, are you serious right, right now, now bro? bro? And I know everybody else is watching this like. That joint did absolutely nothing. So guess what bro decides to try next? Another clue. Here is my brother. But this time, there's more paper bombs. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, okay, okay, I can see the vision. And I'm sure now everybody's like, oh yeah, now you're cooking, bro. Psych, that shit ain't work either. So now bro gets another bright idea. Guess what this one is? He decides to jump up and try to stab the Susano himself with his sword. And I'm just sitting back thinking like, dang. Bro really is a genius for real. And just look at how far bro caught back to stab him. Out here looking like a prime D-Rose. Just to get sent right back to where he came from. 
And look at bro just bouncing on the ground, looking like a prime Spaldy. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how bro will cover from this and start acting like he's really him. Especially after we saw him like this, and like this, and like this. Bro, you are not him, you are a meme, buddy. Have fun on Twitter. But Itachi still walking up to him, looking like his back is broke. And Sasuke is terrified. Bro looking just like this. Only for Itachi to hit us with this iconic goodbye. And I'm like, don't you got a disease, bro? Why would you wipe that dirty ass blood all on your brother's face? And then he bounced his head off the wall, and now bro is finished. He is down there getting his revenge on Toby Rama as we speak.